All right. So find your comfortable seat, adding a pillow or blanket underneath your hips if that feels good and supportive. And we'll begin with rubbing the palms of our hands together, bringing focus and energy into the palms. And then taking the fingertips and gently brushing them across the forehead, temples, and cheek. Brushing away any worries or expectations. Bring the fingertips to the eyes, palms to the cheeks, turning your attention inward. And take a couple of deep cleansing breaths. And then gently floating your hands down, either keeping your eyes closed or just gazing softly downward. Extend the spine up tall, shoulders back and down. Lift the heart with each inhaling breath. Sitting bones sinking toward the earth with each exhale. We'll tune in with three ohms. Feel free to join in or just absorb the vibration. Take another deep breath in. Take a moment to absorb the vibrations of the mantra that connects us all as one. And allow yourself to settle here this Saturday morning, setting an intention for your practice, something you'd like to nurture or cultivate within yourself. Bringing your awareness to your breath with your next inhale. Bring yourself here to this room, to this moment. And with your exhale, release anything not needed for your practice today. With your next inhaling breath, allow the belly to soften and expand. And as you exhale, draw the belly toward the back. Follow your body's rhythm, expanding on the inhale, contracting on the exhale. With your next inhaling breath, expand the belly and open the ribs, reaching and out to the sides. And as you exhale, contract the belly and relax. Follow your body's rhythm.
And with your next inhaling breath, expand the belly, open the ribs and lift the chest, creating space for your heart. And as you exhale, contract, relax, and lower. Continue this full deep breath, expanding the lungs in all directions with each inhale. Completely releasing the breath with each exhale. Continuing this full deep breath, we'll gently begin to decrease the length of the pause between the inhale and the exhale, shifting into the circle or continuous breath. So breathing in deeply and as you come to the end of the inhale, shifting to the exhale. As you come to the end of your exhale, Turning it into the inhale. Creating one continuous circle of breath. If you'd like, you can envision a large water wheel in front of you. The breath, the inhale, drawing the wheel toward you. The exhale, gently pushing it away. A continuous breath helps to balance our nervous system, helping us to regulate through coherent breath, which means that the inhale and exhale are the same. Take one more full continuous breath. And when you reach the end of your exhale, gently return to your natural breath. Taking a moment to notice any changes you feel in your mind or body. Remembering that our breath is always with us to help find those moments of peace and calm. Now bringing your awareness to your right hand, allowing the tip of the thumb and pointer finger to come together. And bring those fingertips to your heart center. Turning your attention deeper inward toward your heart. Looking within for your inner light and your inner joy. As you find that connection with the light within you, allow its warm glow to flow on the breath throughout your entire body. A 
as you find that connection with your inner joy. Allow it to radiate up onto your face in a smile. And breathe it out into the space around you. As we continue our practice, allow your light and joy to flow through each breath and movement, honoring all that you are in each moment. When you're ready, you can float your hand down, gently opening your eyes. If you'd like to switch your legs or change positions, please go ahead and do that. And with your next inhaling breath, let's scrunch the shoulders up by your ears. Exhale, press the shoulders back and down. Inhale, lift and squeeze. Exhale, back and down. Inhale, lift and squeeze. Exhale, back and down. We'll bring the hands in front of the chest, palms facing down, tucking the shoulder blades back and down, strengthening the muscles around the scapula, breathing into the heart. Now let's press the elbows back toward each other. Lifting the heart a little more, gently squeezing the center of the shoulder blades toward each other, bringing out any tension. And then open the arms wide, turn the palms up, lifting the heart a little more, drawing the shoulder blades down, thinking about the lower corners of the shoulder blades tucking toward each other. If it feels okay, you can flex the wrist, pressing through the palms. And then we'll bring the arms in front, crossing the left over the right, bending at the elbows, hands back to back, or left hand around the right wrist, or hands at the shoulders if that feels better for you. From whatever position you're in, gently begin to press the elbows or away from you. Drop the shoulders away from the ears and breathe into the upper back. If it feels okay, you can begin moving the elbows up and down, extending that stretch around the shoulders. If it feels okay you, with your next inhale, you can lift up a little higher, gently arching. Exhale, rounding, letting the weight of the arms drop down, opening the back. Be careful of your low back as you round here. And with your next inhale, coming back to center. We'll unwrap the arms, opening wide, pressing through the palms if that feels okay. And then crossing the left over the right. Again, either bending at the elbows, hands back to back, right hand around the left wrist, or hands at the shoulders. Dropping the shoulders away from the ears, press the elbows out in front of you. Breathing into the upper back, making sure the jaw and the neck are soft. And then again, if it feels okay, you can begin lowering and lifting the elbows, allowing that stretch to go through, through the shoulders. And if it feels okay with your next inhale, 
lifting the elbows up a little higher, gently arching. And then with your exhale, rounding the spine, letting the weight of the arms open the back a little more. And with your next inhale, coming back to the center, we'll unwrap the arms, tucking those shoulders. Let's rotate the palms up and rotate forward, keeping the shoulder blades tucked, working on that internal rotation of the shoulders, following your breath. And then we'll make some circles with our wrists. And reverse those circles. And we'll bring the hands to the heart, interlacing the fingers, pressing the palms out in front. Roll the shoulders forward, round the spine, drop the chin. With your next inhale, lift the palms up over your head, gently arching. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Once more, lift. And as you exhale, this time leave the palms up and gently drop the chin toward the chest. Softening the elbows, roll the shoulders, the upper corners of the shoulder blades toward each other, gently squeezing, bringing out any tension, relaxing the back of the neck a little more if that feels okay. And listening to your shoulders and elbows, if it feels okay, you can press your palms up a little higher. And with your next inhale, lift your chin. And as you exhale, gently float your hands down. Let's turn um, onto our right hip. So bringing the left knee to meet the right. You can stay on the blanket if you'd like. If you also would like maybe more support under one or both legs, you can add that with a blanket or block. You could also spread the knees a little wider if that feels more stable for you. So doing what feels right for you. When you're ready, we'll inhale the hands behind the head. And as you exhale, bringing that left elbow toward the ankles. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach, hold and breathe. Dropping the right hip toward the mat, lifting your heart, reaching that right elbow toward the sky. Chin stays gently away from the chest. And with your next inhale, lift up tall. And as you exhale, float the hands down, left hand to the right knee, right hand behind the right hip. We'll face forward, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently twist toward the right, head comes around left. Lifting the heart with your inhale, gently twisting with the exhale. Hold and breathe. If it feels okay for your neck, you could turn your chin over your left shoulder for a moment. And then turning the chin back to the right. And with your next inhale, coming back to the center. And exhale, letting the breath go. We'll switch legs or switch sides. So we'll sit on the left hip. Feet on the right. It always feels strange when I switch sides like something's 
I have a balance. Um, again, you can stay on the blanket. You can add a blanket or a block under the knee. You can also spread the knees a little wider or more stable base, depending on how your body feels today. We'll inhale the hands up behind our head. And as you exhale, bring the right elbow toward the ankle. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. This time, hold and breathe, dropping that left hip toward the mat. Left elbow reaches up toward the sky as you breathe into the side of the body. Chin stays gently away from the chest. And with your next inhale, lift up tall. And as you exhale, float the hands down, right hand to the left knee, left hand behind the left hip. Face forward, deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently twist toward the left, head comes around left. Lifting your heart with your inhale, gently twisting to the exhale. Hold and breathe, finding that edge between flexibility and inflexibility. And with your next inhale, come back to the center and let the breath go. And let's extend the legs out in front of us. You can stay on the blanket if you would like, or come off of it, whichever works best for you. Thinking about flexing the feet so the toes point toward the sky, keeping the knees a little bit soft to begin with. Spine tall, shoulders back and down, hands can be on the thighs or floor. We'll engage the quadriceps by drawing the kneecaps up. And if it feels okay, lifting the heels off of the floor gently, either one heel at a time or both. Keeping those quadriceps engaged and finding that balance between engaging them and then not hyperextending the back of the knee. So I feel a little tricky sometimes finding that. And then you can think about pressing through the heels as well. Noticing if there's any kind of difference between the right and the left legs and seeing if you can balance that out. You notice that my right hip was sort of turned, or right leg was kind of turned out a little more. So I kind of engage some of those inner groin muscles to draw it into alignment. Finding those little tweaks can be helpful. And with your next exhale, we'll soften. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, gently fold forward, listening to your body. Careful with the low back. Hands on the legs, floor, or feet. With your next inhale, lengthen your spine. Soften the knees and press the hips out behind you. Hold and breathe, lengthening with each inhale, softening with each exhale. Take one more breath, letting go a little more as you exhale. And with your next inhale, lift up tall. We'll bring the hands behind our hips. Feet can either be together 
lifting the hips into incline plane, or you can bend the knees, walk the feet about hip width apart. Back this up so I don't slip. <laughs> and then inhale, lifting the hips here. So whichever version feels right for you, we'll roll those shoulder blades back, soften the elbows, and with your next inhaling breath, lift the hips high. Exhale, gently lower and hover if that feels okay, keeping the elbows bent, working on those triceps. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. This time hold and breathe if that feels okay or continue coming up and down. Elbows are soft, hips press high. Head is extended out from the spine or chin tucked toward the chest. Just try not to drop the head back onto the shoulder. One more breath. And with that exhale, gently lowering down. And we'll shake out those wrists. And let's come to the center of the mat. We'll bring the hands behind the knees, rounding the spine, dropping the chin, and gently roll back. Lengthening through the neck, shoulders tuck under, sending the legs out. Take a moment to gently scan up the body, noticing any parts that feel tired, achy, or sore. Honoring yourself and your body by listening to its messages. Pushing yourself to your edge, but not beyond it. And remembering that each time you do yoga, your body is a little bit different. Notice what's happening with your shoulders. I just noticed mine are like pulled up and forward <laughs> instead of softening them. We often do that and it um, shortens the muscles of the pectoral muscles in the chest. So uh, we often are doing that unconsciously. So just taking that moment to let everything ease into the floor. Now let's bend the right leg, loading the hands to the knee as you draw out in toward the chest. Lengthen through the neck, again, shoulders tucking under and softening around the right hip. Keeping the left hand on the knee, we'll let the right arm drop out to the side, either palm facing down or bending at the elbow. And with your next exhale, gently twist over the left side of the body, right hip comes off of the mat, foot comes across toward the floor, vision toward the right arm as much as feels okay for your neck. Gently pressing that right shoulder back toward the mat. Release the muscles around the hip. Allow the spine to sink into the chest. With your next inhale, come back to center. Extending your leg up toward the sky, take hold behind the hamstring, calf, or ankle. Exhale, toes reach toward the ceiling. Inhale, flexing, pressing through the heel. Follow your breath, releasing the front and the back of the leg. Now begin to make slow, gentle circles with the ankle, stretching your foot as far as it can go in each direction. And reverse the circles. And reaching through the heel, 
Let's draw the sitting bones down, gently arching the low back, letting the hamstrings release there. And then gently tucking the pelvis, drawing the belly muscles down. We'll bring the, the leg toward the torso just as far as feels okay. So feel free to use a strap on your leg here if you would like. You can stay here or with your next exhaling breath, lift the head and chest toward the leg. Inhale, lower the head and chest. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Hold and breathe if that feels okay or continue coming up and down. Reaching through the heels, belly muscles are strong. Neck is nice and long. If you'd like a little more challenge, you can flex your left foot, gently lifting it off of the floor and then releasing your hands. lowering the left foot. Inhale, lowering the head and chest. Exhale, slowly lower the right leg. Once you reach the floor, take a deep breath in and out. Now let's bend the left leg, drawing the hands to the knee as you draw it in toward the chest. Shoulders tuck under. Neck is nice and long, softening around the left hip. Keeping the right hand on the knee, we'll let the left arm fall out to the side, either palm facing down or bending at the elbow. As you exhale, gently twist over the right side of the body. Left hip comes off of the mat, foot comes across toward the floor. Vision toward the left arm as much as feels okay for your neck. Release the muscles around the hip. Easing the spine into the twist. With your next inhale, come back to center, extending the left leg up toward the sky, taking hold behind the hamstrings, calf or ankle. As you exhale, toes reach toward the ceiling. Inhale, flexing, pressing through the heel. Follow your breath, releasing the front and the back of the leg. Now begin to make slow, gentle circles with your ankle, stretching your foot as far as it can go in each direction. And reverse the circles. Reaching through the heel, gently arching the low back, dropping the sitting bones down. And then gently tuck the pelvis, drawing the leg toward the torso just as far as feels okay. Continuing to reach through the heel. Stay here or with your next exhaling breath, lift the head and chest toward the leg. Inhale, lowering the head and chest. <coughs> Excuse me. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Hold and breathe if that feels okay or continue coming up and down. 
Reaching through the heel, belly muscles are strong, neck is nice and long. Gently flexing the right foot if you'd like, lifting it off the floor. And again, if you'd like, you can release the hands. And gently lowering the right leg with your inhale, lower the head and chest. And as you exhale, slowly lower the left leg. Once you reach the floor, take a deep breath in and out. Let's gently bend our knees, placing the feet on the floor. And then we'll let the knees fall out to the side, the soles of the feet gently touching. Work with frog pose. Again, softening the upper body, letting it sink into the mat. Taking a deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently begin to slide your feet away from you, keeping the soles together, lengthening the legs. And when you feel like you can't keep the feet together anymore, stop there and then inhale, gently drawing in toward the groin. Follow your breath, extending the legs out with the exhale. Drawing the legs in with the inhale. Keeping the soles of the feet touching. One more time. And the next time your feet are in closer toward the groin, you can stop there, softening through the hips, noticing where you can let go, perhaps just a little more, a little around the edges. And we'll gently bring the hands on the outside of the thighs, lifting the knees back together. And bring the knees over the torso, gently hugging them in. Breathing into the low belly and apanasana. Neck is nice and long. And you can gently spread the knees wide. From here, you could either slip your hands behind your knees or reach your arms between the legs, taking hold of the arches of the feet. From either position, bring the soles of the feet to face the ceiling. Knees easing outside of the ribs as far as feels okay. Lengthening through the spine, softening the shoulders. Let the low back sink down toward the mat. And consciously soften within the hips. Relax the muscles of the face. Rendering into Ananda Balasana, happy baby pose. Take one more breath. And gently lowering the feet down, bringing the knees back together. From here, you can either roll to your right side, pressing up with your hands, or slip your hands behind the knees, kick the feet over the head, and then gently rock up.
And then we'll come forward onto our hands and knees. We'll bring the hands under our shoulders, knees under our hips. Softening the elbows so the inner elbows are facing each other. Tucking the shoulder blades down the back, head, the neck is nice and long. Finding our strong table pose, taking a breath in and out. With your next inhale, lift the tailbone, drop the spine, lift the chin. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, round the spine, and drop the chin. Inhale, lifting, spine follows. Exhale, rounding. Follow your breath, strengthening the back on the inhale, releasing on the exhale. One more breath. And with your next inhale, coming back to table pose. Let's bring the knees together now, softening the elbows. And we'll gently drop the hips to the right, stretching the outer hip. Back to center. And dropping them to the left. Just follow your breath, dropping just as far as feels good for you. And we'll do once more on each side. And then meeting back in the center. You can either drop the hips to the heels or you can come into Recline Puppy. And we're going to work with um, Morning Glory this morning. <laughs> so starting in either Child's Pose or Recline Puppy. Imagine roots growing down from your legs into the earth. Feel the warm sun on your back. And with your next inhale and breath, you can gently begin to roll your spine up. Lift the arms up over the head and gently arch, opening to the sun. Exhale, folding back over. Following your breath, inhale, rolling up, opening to the sun, imagining you're whatever kind of flower you would like to be today. Exhale, rounding and folding. Let's take a few more breaths. Just following your body's rhythm, opening and closing. Let's take one more, if that feels okay. And then returning to child's pose or recline puppy. Forehead resting on the mat or on stacked fists or a block. Breathing into the spine, creating space between the vertebrae. Releasing the weight of the body to the earth. One more breath. With your next inhale, let's shift back onto our hands and knees. 
And let's step forward with the right leg. So helping that right leg forward as much as you need to. We're going to stack the right knee over the ankle. And let's think about pressing the right hip back, left hip forward, squaring the hips with the front of the mat. You can stay here, or if it feels okay, you could tuck the toes of your back leg under and lift that knee off of the mat. Pressing actively into the front foot. Again, knee in the air or on the mat. Stay here. You can also have blocks under the hands if that, um, to help that be more accessible. And if it feels okay, you could lift the torso, bringing the hands to the knee. Again, the right or the back knee is either in the air or on the floor. Really thinking about squaring those hips with the front of the mat. And then let's think about releasing through the front of the left hip, just softening straight down just a little bit. You can, if your knee is off of the mat, you can press through your back heel. And we'll bring the knee down if it's up. And we'll bring both hands on the inside of the right leg. And uncurl the back toe if it was curled. And let's let that right knee fall out to the side. If it feels okay, you can come onto forearms. And again, if it feels okay, you can curl those left toes under and lift the knee off of the mat. Noticing where you're holding on in your right hip. And seeing if you can soften around those edges or let go. And we'll lower the left knee if it was in the air. Come back to the hands and the foot on the mat. Let's rock the right hip back, walking our hands toward the torso lengthening the spine and if it feels okay lifting those toes flexing the foot letting that stretch go all the way down through the calf and then let's bring that right leg back the right knee back to the mat just kind of rock a little side to side. Notice what feels the same or different with each side. And then we'll step forward with our left foot, helping that up as much as it needs, stacking the left knee over the left ankle. Again, hands on the um, mat or you can use blocks as support so that there's not quite as far to go down. Pressing into the left foot, we'll press the left hip back, right hip forward. You can stay here or tuck the toes of the back leg under and lift that back knee off of the mat. So listening to your body, doing what it needs today. Not doing too much or too little, doing what's just right for you in this moment. You can stay here, or if it feels okay, bringing the hands to the knee. Again, right hip pressing forward, left hip pressing back. Knee either on the floor or in the air. And then gently softening through the front of the right hip by letting it just drop straight down a little bit. If your knee is off the mat, reaching the heel back. And then we'll bring the hands back to the mat, but on the inside of the left leg or left foot. Dropping the back knee down. Let's let that left knee fall out to the side, coming to the outside edge of the foot. And if it feels okay, you can come down onto your forearms. 
You can stay here, or if it feels okay, tucking the toes of the right foot under and lifting the knee off of the mat. Breathing into that left hip, noticing where you're holding on and gently letting go around the edges, or even a little more if that feels okay. We'll bring that back knee down if it's up, coming back onto the hands and the sole of the left foot. We'll rock the left hip back, walking the hands closer toward our body, lengthening through the spine, reaching back through the hip. And if it feels okay, you can lift those toes, allowing that stretch to go down through the calf. And then we'll bring that left leg back, coming onto hands and knees. And we can again rock those hips side to side, just noticing what's happening. Okay, let's walk the hands out a little further and let's make some big circles with the hips. Just noticing if that helps to release anything through the hips and the low back. and reversing those circles. And then we'll come back to the center, tuck the toes under, press the hips up and back, downward dog, softening our knees, rolling the shoulder blades back toward each other, Head is between the arms with the chin away from the chest gently. Reach back through the hips, lengthening the spine first. And then if it feels okay, you can either press one heel down and then the other, or work with both heels reaching toward the floor. Keeping the knees slightly bent, thinking about rooting into the palms and the soles of the feet. Lifting up through the tailbone to allow the lengthening to happen. One more breath. Then gently looking up toward the front of the mat, you can walk or jump your feet up toward your hands. Feet hip width apart, letting the spine lengthen down. You can have a block underneath the hands if you would like, or bringing the hands to the shins or knees as that feels appropriate for your body today. As much as you can, soften through the back of the neck. Really allowing those knees to be as soft as the hands. And either staying here or if it feels okay, pushing into your feet and reaching your hips a little higher, lengthening the back of the legs. With your next inhale, sweep the arms out and up, palms together over the head. And as you exhale, hands to the heart. Take a breath in and out. Let's work with tree as a balance pose today. So if you'd like to use the wall, you can have it at your back for support. So bringing our feet about hip width apart. Spine tall, shoulders back and down. Belly strong, knees soft. Lift the toes, spreading them wide as we lower them down. 
finding that nice wide base. Shifting our weight to the left leg and finding a focus spot for our gaze. We'll turn the right knee out to the side, resting the heel against the leg. You can stay here or work with balance by lifting the toes gently, keeping that left knee slightly bent. You could bring the foot into the calf or into the groin as well, whichever works best for you today. When you find that steady place, bring your hands to the heart. Rooting through the foot, lift up out of the hip gently without locking the knee. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Stay here or if it feels okay, you could bring your arms up over the head, palms together or apart. Remembering that wobbling and falling is part of balance. So be gentle with yourself, whatever happens. And you can use it as an opportunity to laugh as well. <laughs> We'll bring the hands to the heart, gently lower the leg down, and we'll shake out that left leg. Finding our balance on both feet again. Spine tall, shoulders back and down, belly strong, knees soft. Lift the toes and spread them wide as you lower them down. Shifting our weight to the right leg, finding a focus spot for our gaze. Turn the left knee out to the side. Again, working either staying here or working with balance by lifting the toes. Bringing the foot into the calf or into the groin, whatever feels right for you today. And when you find your steady spot, bring your hands to the heart. Rooting through the foot into the earth, lifting up out of the hip with keeping the knee soft and lengthening through the crown of the head. Notice too, if your head is in alignment with your body, sometimes our head is jutting out. So kind of pulling that chin gently back toward the throat can support it. If it feels okay, you can extend those arms up over the head, palms together or apart. Again, softening through the shoulder blades. Rooting and rising. Finding your center. And then we'll gently bring the hands back to the heart, lowering the leg down, and then we'll shake both of those legs out. And let's spread our legs nice and wide. And let's work with a couple of uh, triangle variations. So we'll bring the right foot to point toward the short end of the mat and drop that left heel back. So it's a little bit of a 45 degree angle. Our hips are gonna face the long end of the mat. Let's think about rooting into our feet. Inhale the arms out at shoulder height. Exhale, we'll shift that left hip to the side and reach the right arm across. Staying where, keeping our torso where it is, we'll drop that right arm down toward the mat. Left arm can either come to the low back or come up toward the sky, depending on how your shoulders are feeling today. Think about rotating the, rib, the ribs so that the torso is facing the wall. If you feel like your ribs are, and chest are facing the mat, Come up a little higher so that you can get that open chest. Pressing into both feet, softening through the hamstrings of the right leg, lengthening through the left side of the body. One more breath. And with your next inhale, press into the feet, lift up tall. With your exhale, let's bend the right leg Bring the forearm to the thigh. Again, left arm can stay at the low back or drop over the left ear. Whatever feels right for your shoulders. Reach through your left heel, either reaching through the fingertips 
or really lengthening through the side of the body with intention, even without the arm. And the torso faces the wall. If it feels okay, you could drop that right hand toward the mat or block. And if you're feeling like you want a little more challenge today, you could reach that right arm underneath the shoulder, interlacing the fingers or connecting the fingers into the bind. So listen to your body, do what feels right for you today. And with your next inhaling breath, we'll bring that left hand down toward the mat, sweep it across and lift up tall. Exhale, float the hands down. And we'll shift our feet. So the left foot will point toward the short end of the mat. Right heel drops back, 45 degree angle. Hips face the long end of the mat. Inhale the arms out at shoulder height. Exhale, the right hip shifts out, left arm reaches across the room, and then floating the left hand down to the leg, right arm comes to the low back or floating up toward the sky. Rotating the ribs to face the wall, pressing into both feet, softening through the hamstrings of the left leg, lengthening through the right side of the body, Pushing actively into the feet, making sure both legs are strong and active. And with your next inhale, pressing into the feet, lift up tall. Exhale, bending the left leg, bringing the forearm to the thigh. Again, either keeping the right hand at the low back or bringing the arm over the ear. Pressing the heel into the mat, Reaching through the fingertips if your arm is extended or lengthening through the side body if it's not. And again, if it feels okay, you could bring that left hand down toward the mat or a block. And then if you would like to add the bind, you can reach the hands back toward each other, hooking the fingers. And with your next inhale, we'll bring the right hand to the mat, sweep it across, lifting up tall. And exhale, float the hands down. Let's bring both feet to face the long end of the mat. We'll inhale the arms up over the head. Exhale, swan dive, hips out behind us. And then floating the hands down, onto the mat or block, softening our knees, pushing the feet into the mat as we lift up through the sitting bones. Spine is nice and long, rooting through the feet, lifting through the hips. If it feels okay, you could walk your hands over toward your right leg, hands on the floor, block, or leg. Turning the torso to face the thigh, lengthen down over the leg, releasing the neck, pushing into the right foot as the right hip lifts up toward the sky. And walking the hands back to the center and across to the right. Again, hands on the floor, block or leg, turning the torso to face the thigh, lengthening down over the leg, pushing the left foot into the mat, lifting the left hip up toward the sky, releasing the back of the neck as much as feels okay. We'll walk our hands back to the center, pushing into both feet, opening the sitting bones behind us. We'll walk our feet closer toward each other, stopping just outside of hip width apart. 
dropping the hips down, coming into Malasana squat. Or if you would like to use, um, so you can do the high squat here, or if you'd like to use a block, placing it in the center behind your heels, dropping the hips down toward the block or heels. You can stay in either of these variations or come all the way to the mat, walking the feet a little further apart, working on opening the hips here. Finding the variation that feels right today. Lengthening the spine, softening the shoulders. Neck is nice and long. Breathing into the hips. And gently meeting on the floor in Baddha Konasana. We'll bring the soles of the feet together. You can take hold at the toes or ankles, whichever feels best for you. Lengthening the spine up tall. Let's think about pressing the feet together. You'll notice your knees come up a little bit, engaging those inner groin muscles. And with your next exhale, let's release and then engage the outer hip muscles to draw the knees down a little more, just as much as feels okay, not overdoing. And you can either stay here or with your next inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale, begin to tilt at the pelvis, reaching the torso out over the feet. Notice what's happening with your shoulders, keeping them back and down. Neck is nice and long, heart is meeting. Finding that edge of tightness or tension, stopping there, gently softening around it. Breathing into the low back. If it feels okay, you could also use your elbows to press the knees, opening the legs out a little bit, but really only do that if it feels okay. And then we'll gently roll the spine back up, pulling the shoulders back and down, bringing the knees together. And then we'll come back to cross again. Lengthening the spine up tall, shoulders back and down. With your next inhaling breath, reach through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, drop the right ear over the right shoulder, tucking the right shoulder back and down. Breathe into the left side of the neck. Gently letting go with each breath. If it feels okay, you could bring the left arm across the low back. And if it feels okay, you could bring the right arm around the head, resting the right hand on the left side of the head. Keeping the heart lifted as you soften through the neck muscles. With your next inhaling breath, releasing the hands, coming back to the center. Exhale, lowering the left ear over the left shoulder. Tucking the left shoulder back and down as you breathe into the right side of the neck. Lifting the spine and softening through the neck. And if it feels okay, you could bring the right arm across the low back. And if it feels okay, you could bring the left arm around the head, resting the left hand on the right ear gently. Breathing into the 
lengthening and releasing through each exhale. Lifting the heart with each inhale. And with your next inhale, release the hands, coming back to the center. Exhale, turning the chin over the right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, the chin over the left shoulder. Inhale, center. Let's gently bend the knees, coming to the center of the mat. Rounding the spine and gently rolling back. We'll bend our knees, lifting their feet up toward the sky. You could rock your hands underneath the hips to support the legs. You can also place a block under your legs or even have the feet resting up on the wall, whichever feels best for you right now. The neck is long, ankles and knees are relaxed as you breathe into the belly. Gently bend the knees, rocking the hands or block out from underneath the hips. And then bringing or hugging the knees in toward the torso. You can rock a little from side to side, or if it feels okay, you can bring the knees in and out, making small circles with the low back. And if you're making circles, you can reverse those. And bringing the arms out at shoulder height, knees together. If you'd like one last twist, gently dropping the knees to the right, vision to the left. With your inhale, come back to the center. And exhale, dropping the knees to the left, vision to the right. And with your next inhale, coming back to the center. Lowering the feet down. You can either, um, I'm preparing for Shavasana, you can either stay here with the knees bent, walking the feet out to the edges of the mat and resting the knees together, or you can extend the legs out either by themselves or having a bolster or blanket underneath the knees. And gently covering up if it's cool where you are to keep the warmth in the body.
finding your Shavasana position for today. Do you feel relaxed and supported? If your legs are extended, allow the feet to be about hip width apart. Arms slightly away from the body with the palms turned up. Shoulders tucked back and down. Neck is nice and long. Relax your forehead. Soften your eyes. Loosen your jaw. Gently bring your awareness to your breath, allowing each inhale to fill you with a sense of peace and calm. Allowing each exhale to release anything that no longer serves you. Let the breath bring you back to your heart center. Reconnecting with the light and joy that always reside deep within your heart. Let each breath fill your heart with loving kindness for yourself. Sending that loving kindness to each and every cell of your body. Honoring all of who you are in each moment.
gently begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Stretch in whatever way feels comfortable for you. When you're ready, you can gently bend your knees, roll to your side and rest there for a moment. And then gently return to a seated position. We'll end with a meta blessing of loving kindness. Please feel free to join in. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings have peace. May all beings awaken to the light of their true nature. May all beings be free. The light in me honors the light in you. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. For our world, for our community. Well, thank you all so much for joining me today and taking time for yourselves.